Hey everyone, welcome to Shifty's Club. Today, I'm going to talk about the extended format, and I've got a real doozy. Now, I've got to make these quick, because I've got some catching up to do, <laughs> and I have a lot of other stuff to catch up to. <laughs> so, here's basically how this is going to happen. I'm going to give a concept, I'm going to describe it in a little detail, and let you guys go. The concept here is the new Rayquaza EX and Skyfield along with a bunch of fire type Pokemon. Now hear me out. It's not the colorless Rayquaza that you probably all love. It's the one with the fire type attack. Now we should be getting both Rayquaza, if I'm not badly wrong. If we don't, then sue me. No, okay. um, but anyway, when anyway, this will come out either before the right time or at the right time, regardless whether it comes out this set or this coming set or the next set. Anyway, what Rayquaza, what Mega Rayquaza does is for five energy, does 300 damage. So yeah. <laughs> and discards two energy. Not bad, especially when you're running inside of an M board deck. Which leads me to my next point. Running this with M board and Skyfield allows you to run as many different techs as you want. And this allows for cards like Del Fox, so you not only have energy acceleration, but you also have massive draw support. You also can play Pyroar from Phantom Forces because Embor is an ex energy acceleration Pokemon. There's really no use in not playing Pyroar because you can take advantage of his ability just as often as you want. So just basically every turn discard one energy and you can switch the active which is pretty cool. Then you also have a couple other Pokemon that can work well. Skyfield's off obviously going to want to stay in play, so you play Ninetales in order to ensure that Skyfield stays. Other Pokemon that have been able to make work are Ditto, obviously, and Dustmore because of the damage control. Now, obviously, Rayquaza's not going to be able to do everything. If you see a lot of small Pokemon that aren't really being able to do much, bring out the big gun. Okay, and I'm not afraid to say this, but there are several different fire type Pokemon that can spread damage, and this is why Rayquaza is most effective is because not only is it a big huge attacker but if you're going up against a big basic oh wait you're going up against a one price Pokemon chances are they're going to have the advantage as far as prize possession so you have to have a way to respond to that and what better way than to pyroar up something and spread damage now, this is only a tech in the deck, but it works well against cards like Flareon. So, it's something to absolutely think about. My list, well, not real certain, but, you know. <laughs> I've tried many various lists, and just for eh, bits and pieces on PTCGO, and... I can't really find a list that I like, but I do have some consistent flow across the board. Um, and it is a very viable deck. It does work. It is slow, guys. It is very slow. But if you hit if you play your cards right or build deck right, you can get this off on turn two or turn three and start destroying your opponent. Anyway, that's all I got for today, guys. If you haven't subscribed, make sure to subscribe, post any comments you have in the comment section down below. And as always, hope you guys have a great time as I had, and I'll see you guys next time. Shit, these clubs.